over here! So the first time I played this game, I remember, um, kind of like, cycling through the map after we got this first, like, map screen, and I'm like, oh jeez, this is a big game. And then it turned out that it's not that big it, at all. It's actually, like, the shortest Fire Emblem game. Is it actually? I don't know if it's literally, but it's pretty, it's pretty short. I wouldn't be surprised, like, um, I don't know. I, what are some of the shorter games in the franchise? Like, I wouldn't say Genealogy of the Holy War because that's a special case. It, it has a short, a small number of chapters. But those chapters are long as hell. Yeah. And then there's like, yeah, I think this game actually might, it's either this one or Binding Blade if I recall correctly. Because this only has like 21 <laughs> chapters or something like that. Yeah. Um, and then it yeah. has more, but you only like... Ephraim or Erica, and then it also has, like, some free-roaming stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's a whole thing with, like, you know, the extra dungeons, like the tower and the ruins and all that, yeah. which you can do if you so choose. And there's skirmishes, which weren't in many Fire Emblem games before this. Yeah. But anyway, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to, uh, episode, or chapter three. Chapter I'm gonna three. call chapters, because, yeah. like... We have Prologue, Chapter 1, Chapter 2. Yeah, yeah, so Chapter 3 of Let's Play Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. I'm the Green Scorpion. I'm the Comic Foil. And here we go. Erica and company pursue the thief who stole her bracelet. Their chase leads them into the mountains, where Bazba's bandits pillage at will. Erica cannot ignore her countrymen's pleas for help. She leads her group in search of the bandit's stronghold. So yeah, like, originally she was like, yeah, let's not do this because, like, the bracelet's not actually important. In reality, it is. But now she's like, hey, you know what? Like, we're helping villages, like, deal with these bandits. We might as well. And Seth was like, no, we need this bracelet, Erica. <laughs> yeah. The local villagers tell me that the Baz that Bazba's bandits keep their lair nearby. A few of them saw a lad matching the description of our bracelet thief. It seems a fair guess that the youth is one of these bandits. Bandits? Here in Rene, our homeland? I had no idea! Burning our villages, stealing from our people with no fear of reprisal? It wasn't always like this. The knights used to protect the citizenry. However, with Rene in ruins and her army tattered, law and order are hard to find. It doesn't look like the Grado army is interested in maintaining order here. I mean, Selena seemed a little interested, but... Yeah, but Selena is like, what, but she was one too general? And she was too busy. Exactly. If nothing changes, Renee will continue this sad plunge into savagery. Uh, oh! Uh, yep. uh, hello? Hi! Pardon me for asking, but are you all some sort of mercenary troop? Why do you ask? P please, you have to help Colm. You have to. I told him it was too dangerous, but he wouldn't listen to me. Please, you must calm yourself. Start at the beginning and speak slowly. Alright. I'm Naomi. I'm from... I used to be from a village named Lork, except the village is gone. Gone? What do you mean? Bosbo's bandits burned it down. Only Colm and I escaped. The other villagers... The bandits attacked them, and... Naomi, what are you doing here? Bazba's bandits. They have a hideout here in these mountains. That's where Colm, um, Colm, my, uh, we've known each other since we were kids. He went to steal back something the bandits took from me. He went alone? That's a very dangerous thing. Yes, I know. Th that's what I told him, but he wouldn't listen to me. If I lose Colm, too, I don't know. I, I'll... Wait, please don't cry. Don't worry, we'll find your friend and see that he's not harmed. Really? Really and truly? Oh, thank you, thank you! I... I don't have much money, but I'll do anything to help. Your Highness, what will it be? If the thief we're after has gone to the bandit's lair as well, well, it seems as though we share a common cause with Naimi. She is a citizen of Renee, after all. And isn't it our duty to defend the countrymen? I'm only sad that we weren't, we weren't here to protect our friends and neighbors. So yes, I feel we must help her. Very well. Naomi, I trust you can lead the way? Uh, yes, it, it's this way. Here we go. Um, is there anything I can do to help? I feel so. When I was little, I used to go hunting with my grandfather. What I mean is, I can... I'm not bad with a bow. Really? 
Uh-huh. I see. You should remain behind... You should remain behind and protect Princess Erica. Hmm. Not sure who's out there, but it looks like we've got guests. Let's give them a warm welcome, lads. You see a stranger, stick an axe in him. Alright. So, yeah, we have Naomi, um, our signature archer for this playthrough. Yep. Um, who I feel we're going to be using because, uh, she's actually pretty decent, from well, what I have to understand. She suffers from very low base stats. Mm-hmm. She takes a lot of work to get good, but since she is your only archer at the beginning, she's good in that she is an archer. Yeah. Some people just don't use archers at all in this game, though. That's true, that's true. Actually, yeah, the GBA era was not kind to archers. Yeah, I really like her. Um, like, if if we are to play this the way we expect it to, um, I don't doubt that we can use her in conjunction with someone else. The good thing about Naomi is that she basically has no competition for... Um, the item that you use to promote her is called Orion's Bolt. Yeah. And I think you get one for free in the game. Um, and actually no other character you can recruit uses that. Really? Because she's the only base archer in the game. Ah, okay. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Um, what I'm thinking is... Um, so we want to get rid of this guy like as soon as we can. And I think I can do some... like. Um, uh, some rescue chaining uh, to get a head start on that. And what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to have Erica break open this um, wall so she can deal with this bandit. Okay. Um, in the meantime, um, we're going to move Mulder up front first and see if we can get that thing broken. Uh, can you do it with a steel sword? Um, almost. Uh... I think I know how I'm going to do this. Okay. Perfect. That'll do it. Alright then. What, um, what I like is that for a while we'll have, like, all the units that we recruit will be in every chapter. It'll yeah. be a while before we have to narrow them down. Uh, yep. Alright, so... Yeah, let's start with Naomi, see what she can do. You know, in past playthroughs we haven't had the best of luck with uh, archers in GBA games. Don't remind me! No need to bring that up again, John. I will do my best to keep them alive. Is there anybody above us? Um, no, there isn't. Oh, wow. Shockingly. Okay. Um, I think someone will come from here, but yeah. even if they do appear, like, Gilliam's right there, ready to, re ready to protect, so... I'm trying to remember if that's where Colm shows up from. He might. Because... Yeah, it's a, like, you need to catch them and recruit them, but they make it easy because this is still kind of tutorial land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just not seeing the tutorials because we're playing in hard mode. Mm hmm I also spent some time today um, copying down who every character can support with. Right. Because, yeah, each character has somewhere between... Oh, yeah, there he is. And ah. Hugh. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you want to do it or shall I? I don't remember who did it last episode. Um, I did. Be or you did do it, yeah. Did I? I don't know, but go for it. Yeah, right. You seem like, to have an idea in mind for it. Especially because, like, you know, you did name me. Home. Yeah. Yeah, why not, right? And here we go. <laughs> not a soul saw me. These bandits are easy picking. I guess I might as well start with these chests here. Alright, I don't know if she can reach there, actually. Dang it, she can't. Um, but we can rescue him. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably what we're gonna end up doing. Um... First, however... Yeah, this guy didn't move at all. Um... So, yeah, let's do that, actually. So... What I kind of like doing, um, in this regard is, uh... Because there is only, like, a lone, like, cutthroat here, I usually tend to have Colm and Naomi take that front. Okay. So, we're gonna do the good old, uh, drag and drop. Perfect. And Naomi? Colm! 
Name me? What are you doing here? I told you to wait for me, didn't I? I couldn't... It's too dangerous. Come on, let's go home. We don't have a home. Don't you get it? Look, just leave everything to me. I can take care of it in a flash, but I don't need a clumsy oaf like you tagging along. But... but... Oh, this is ridiculous. We'll talk later. Don't leave my side, Naomi. I... all right. And here we have Colm, our signature thief. Um, check really quick if you... can you start a support conversation with Naomi? Yes. Oh, wow! So the this is where the tutorial will explain to you what supports are. Got gotcha. And it will prompt you to have Colm and Naomi do one. Uh-huh. So that's another kind of valuable thing about them is that you kind of get a free C support. Cool! Okay. All right, I'm gonna have you wait here because, Ross, what I want you to do is take this guy out. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah, we gotta get Ross those levels. We're already at four. Yeah. So, not bad at all. And what we're gonna do, you're going to grab that key. Canto over here. Erica? Boom, baby. Yep. Cool. So this is nice. We can get some extra equipment from this chapter. There's mm -hmm. nothing, like, crazy valuable, but it's extra weapons. Yeah, like, why not, right? Yep. All right. No one, no one like, has any health or anything. So, yeah, I guess we can go ahead with the support, or do we want Colin to bait this um, cutthroat? I think let's do the support first. Name me. Oh, hi, Colm. How are you? Uh, how are you doing? This is no time for pleasantries. You need to concentrate in battle. I was just being polite. I never thought I'd see you on the battlefield. Well, I might not, I might not be the best, but when something needs to be done, I do it. It's amazing how war affects people. I mean, look at you. You're a bumbling crybaby, but even you pulled yourself together temporarily. Uh... When we were little, you followed me everywhere, tripping and crying. Oh... Why are you always so mean? Ah, now look at you. You're still following me everywhere, tripping and crying. But now you're doing it on the battlefield. Will you please stop your boohooing? Okay. I'll try. Man, you can't do anything without me, can you? And stop crying! But... What is it? You're the one who's making me cry. <sighs> I actually do love their relationship. Yeah. Colm and Naomi are cute. Alright. Kind of just taking it slow, but, like, I also know for a fact that this thief is going to start moving eventually. Yeah. Unlike in a Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn, there's not bonus experience in this game, so it doesn't really matter how fast we do things. At least, not some of the time. Mm-hmm. Alright, here's how I'm going to do this. You could... Okay. Phew! That's a bit of experience yeah. for a simple hit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna let... Uh, I'm just gonna let him handle this, honestly. Yeah, we can take this slow level up who needs to be leveled up. Um, let me check something real quick. Ah, perfect. Yeah, you wanna give that javelin to prawns? Yep. And I'm not going to attack the wall because I don't want Ross taking that hit. Alright then. Uh, let's uh, keep it moving. Perfect. Yeah, Colm should be able to handle this just fine. He's a thief. Um, Colm, a lot like Naomi, starts with not great bases, but he has really good growths in speed. Um... He is unfortunately sword locked, but that's just how thieves are. Yeah. Uh, combat wise, he's not the best like thief kind of unit, but he's the only thief you have for a while, and that's really good utility. Exactly. And he's, I think both him and Nami are um, are very usable. 
But the other nice thing is uh, their support with each other raises uh, critical hit chance, which is really good for both of them. Yeah, we were having this conversation earlier, like the whole affinity thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, um, I, I never really followed that all too much, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't usually pay attention to it either, but that one, like, the game just hands you and it happens to be... Like, uh, a like, good one. Yeah, like, good synergy with the characters. Yeah, because, like, if you if you follow the, like, um, optimal builds for them, you can, uh, uh, you can, uh, you, you're usually going to make Naomi a sniper and yeah. uh, Coleman Assassin, both of which, like, depend on, like, good critical hit chances. Yeah, Sacred Stones, though, I usually pick supports based on just, like, who I'm feeling, like, narratively I want to pair together. Yeah, that's how I usually do it personally, but that's just me. Yeah. So every character has, um, I think the least anybody has is three, and the most anybody has is seven options for who they can support with. Yeah, and often the ones that have the least amount are usually, like, you know, near the end game from what I am to understand. Yeah. Um, Good dodging, Palm. Yeah, Mirror and... Or I guess Mur. It's yeah. Mur. Mur and Noel have the least. Which, they're both... Mur is very close to the end of the game. Noel's pretty close to the end. Right. All right. Um, just kind of seeing who would be able to take this archer. And honestly, like, any one of these guys can. I don't want Ross doing that because, again, I, I still don't necessarily entirely trust Ross's defense. I think how Franz is doing. Yeah, I think Franz can handle a, uh, can handle a bow. Yeah. So, equip with a javelin. We'll have you there. We'll have you there for now. Um, we got the chest key, but that was... Yeah, we used that earlier already. Yeah. That's the other thing that, like, makes Thieves not as good in this game, is that eventually you can buy as many chest keys and door keys as you want from... Uh, or at least as many chest keys as you want from the overworld. Yeah. Which is, like, which is one of those things where it's like, you know, oh, it's not so bad because, like, you can eventually promote them into Assassin, right? There's that other class, which is, like, Rogue. Yeah. Um, um, but again, Rogues are not all that great either. Ass assassins lose a lot of their steely abilities. I didn't realize that guy had a, uh, hand axe. Yeah, it sure does. Um. Yeah, assassins can't steal things from people, and I think they need lockpicks to unlock chests and doors, whereas rogues are like the utility of a thief made better. Right. Hmm. This might be in my op this might be an opportunity to level up like Franz a little bit. So let me see something. Can you get Mulder down here? That's what I was. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, Mulder can easily go there. Uh. So, like, if we put him where, like, Seth is while we move everyone else forward, like, Franz can kind of just take pot shots at these guys. Yeah. And, like, uh, gain some experience that way. Like, again, that's assuming we want to use Franz, which I'm not totally against. Um, let's see how he does here. Are we going to be able to heal him up enough to... I mean, yeah, he should be fine. Oh, yeah, no, he'll be fine. I'm just worried about him taking a hand axe and then a arrow. True, but he's not gonna. He doesn't have enough power to kill. Yeah, I don't think he can. I don't think he can crit off that. No. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. Uh, Franz can support with Seth. He can also support with Gilliam. Um, my favorite support for. Him is a character we get later named Amelia. Ah, yes, very much so. Um, Amelia in particular, however, like, I've always liked the support between her and Dussel. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Also, I apologize in advance if I ever pronounce... So when I was first playing this game in, like, the 20 aughts when it came out... Okay, you can send the item to the supply uh, in this way. Oh, that's good. Yeah, no, it always sends them to the supply. Okay. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Iron Lance off because I want to give that hand axe to um, Ross. Sounds good. So who's got the door key? You do. Ross does. All right then. I'm not going to give it to Ross and like have him unlock the door. Heck no. Um. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is like do this. There we go. And hey, you can use it. Cool. Um, you could have Erica take the key and open it next turn. I have an idea. Let's have Gilliam do it. Okay. Like, Gilliam is more than tanky enough to be able he, to take this. He is the tank. And even if that guy, even if the Hand Axe guy, like, comes up close, his only targets are Colm and Erica, with both of which can deal with a Hand Axe. But yeah, for some reason, the first time I was playing this game, it was, like, my first exposure to a lot of different, like, kinds of names and pronunciations that, like, <laughs> a lot of characters I used to pronounce very bad, and I know I was pronouncing them wrong, but sometimes I'll still slip into how I used to say it. Oh, dude, like, that's, like, pretty much Fire Emblem in a nutshell. Like, we still, we, I remember the last playthrough we did, we were talking about, like, the discrepancy with Z-Hark. Yeah. And it's, like... We've always said Zyhark, and we st we're not going to stop saying Zyhark. <laughs> yeah, that one I actually disagree with. I yeah. disagree with the official pronunciation. What was it that you mentioned, like, before? Death of the Author type of situation? Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> but, like, I would pronounce Nami as Niami. Oh, I didn't even... Which, which I don't... It, it, that one is, like, I before weird. the E uh, type yeah. of thing, which is yeah. not the case it, here. It's definitely Nami. Yeah. Um. For some reason, I would pronounce Garcia as Garcia. Because it, like, just didn't occur to me of, like, oh, yeah, Garcia is a name. Yeah. That already exists. I, I mean, English language for you there, because there's Garcia, and then there's, like, Marcia. Yeah. Yeah, so I was what, what, what's it her like, name? Marcia. Yeah, it's like, what's her name, Marcia? Yeah. Actually, you know, now that I think about it, that might be it. Yeah, it's not awful. I, like, it's not a terrible pronunciation, not by any stretch. Man, these guys do a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah, I don't love that. Yeah, don't worry. No one's in range that can uh, that can take her out at like at this point. And even then, here we go. This is at least giving Mulder something to do. Finally. Yeah. That's the other problem with Nami is that she's flimsy. She is so unbelievably like like weak defensively. Like absolutely. Okay, should be able to handle this just fine. Way to go, Ross. Yeah, even if he missed, like, 11 damage is not going to kill him. Yeah. And um, what does everybody have over there? Because we don't want people... Oh, yeah, no, don't worry. Them. This guy has a iron sword, this guy has a steel axe. Okay. I checked, don't checked worry. Already. Yeah, I haven't yeah. gotten fully back into... <laughs> ...double-checking Oscar mode. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, honestly, though, like, you know... It, it, that's why I have you join me for these, because it's good to have a second set of yeah, eyes yeah. for this kind of thing. Uh, Garcia, can you? Hmm, not quite accurate. What about you, Franz? Even if he misses, he's yeah, not in danger he's of dying. In... Might as well, right? Go for it. Let's see if he can do it. Yeah. Way to go, Franz! Alright! Sacred Stones is also full of a lot of bottlenecks, and because of that, um, it becomes very important to, like, set up walls and play defensively, and a lot of your damage actually comes on your opponent's turn. Yeah, very. And that's part of why archers aren't as good in this game, because they can't counter... Um, yeah, they can't counter at a uh, range of one. Yeah. Wow, this thief, like, this thief does not behave like other, yeah, like other, like, thieves in the series. Like, they, they go straight for enemies. Or for, like, us. Yeah, who do you want to feed that thief to? Because oh. thieves are good experience. Oh, definitely Ross. Definitely Ross. If he can hit. Ah. Ooh. Alright, then in that case, I say we give it to Erica. Okay. Because, again, we still want to give Erica that... Uh, you know, experience. Unless, like, she's already level 5. Uh, you know what? It's never it's never a bad idea to give her experience. Yeah. Like, honestly. My only other thought was Colm, if you, like, wanted to try and use him. Mm-hmm. But I'm also happy with Erica. Yeah. Good stuff.
Also, um, yeah, a not small amount of your least favorite Fire Emblem characters come from this game. Yeah, shockingly, like, uh, there's a lot of characters in this game in particular that I'm not the biggest fan of, um, uh, now, now that I've noticed. Renick, Inez. Yep. Um, she didn't make the list, but I know you're not a big fan of loot, personality-wise. No, I am not. Even loot, though she is very good. Loot drives me up a wall with her, like, Oh, macho superiority on a T type yeah. of crap. I hate that type. I hate that character archetype, which is hilarious because there's another character just like that in this game, and I actually love her. Yeah, but I know who you're tar talking about, and she is a very different character than Loot. Oh, absolutely. Like at least at, at least Larshell, like you know, Larshell's also incredibly nice. Yes, like that. That's the main difference for me yeah. is that like at least Larshell's like you know. At least Lara Shell has, like, you know, the personality where she's like, oh, yeah, I'm superior. Or not not superior, but, like, you know, she's, I am... I am great. I am amazing. And you are also amazing. Exactly. <laughs> uh, she she is not Loot. She is a Maribel, yeah. if that makes any sense. Like, Maribel kind of has that personality of, like, yes, I am great, but I also think you are great type of thing. I don't remember Maribel being like that, but I guess Maribel was never one of my favorites, so I didn't really pay attention. Fair, fair enough. M Maribel um, is the type of character who... Um, I guess you know, I assumed she'd be, like, more mean. Maybe. Yeah, I guess, but, like, she actually is very respect... Uh, very respectful um, in the grand scheme of things. Like, yes, she's full of herself, but not so much to the point where it's, like, you know, she finds herself superior compared to others. Unless they are, like, lowborn, I guess you could say, but even then she... <laughs> unless they're lowborn. But here's the thing. But other than that, unless you're a dirty peasant, I'll respect you. <laughs> that, that's a, no, that's the thing, though. She even respects, like, uh, the lower class because she she's kind of, like, in the same way as Virian in that she feels it is her duty to, like, help and, like, bring up those of the lower class. Um, which is why her and Donald have, like, some of the best support in the game. I remember her and Donald having her and, supports. Her and Donald are amazing, because she, like, totally underestimates his educational, like, you yeah. know, ability. And then he's just, like, he just, like, recites everything verbatim from the book that she gave him. Yeah. It's so good. I really enjoyed that support chain. Yeah, that's a good one, because they learn to really like each other despite what would seem like the obvious differences. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you get to the second one where it's like, where like, you know, she's trying to teach her, teach him how to dance and like, he's just a horrible dancer. Yeah. <laughs> Much to the chagrin of her aching foot, as she put it. <laughs> like, that's the thing about Maribel that I enjoy. Like, her antics, like, yeah, she's... Like, she's high class and she's, like, very full of herself, but her antics are honestly fun when put in conjunction with other characters. If, if that makes any sense. A steel axe. This concerns me. Um, yeah, so maybe Erica, or maybe this is one of those that you'd want to... I honestly feel like Gilliam would be able to deal with this. Like, what's his defense? Or Franz with a sword. Yeah, like, I guess Franz is fast enough that he's not going to get doubled, but, like... Ah, n no, no attack in this game is going to do 22 damage, right? Not without a crit. Yeah, so I I'm willing to do that. Alright, Franz, we just need you to hold the line. No attack in this chapter is going to do 22 damage. Exactly. <laughs> so, Iron Sword, and... Oh, it's telling me to attack the wall. Yeah. I was like, oh, is there another enemy nearby? No, there is not. <laughs> Hiding in a barrel. <laughs> the D&D um, campaign I'm running right now. Yeah? Uh, they're escorting... They're on this trek up a mountain, and they found this, like, village of goblins, and for whatever reason, this, like, wasn't predicted by me, but they, like... Um, like, convince the goblins to also make the trek so they have, like, six goblins with them that they're trying to keep safe. But, um, one of the goblins that I just had is, like, a funny NPC. I wasn't going to do anything with her. Uh, yeah. But her name was Beryl, and she is always in a barrel. Oh, she that's cute. Just, like, so I, like... Oh, Mamie! With a crit! Yo! Let's do a lot more of that, Mamie. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. I will gladly take that. All right, Franz. 
We're gonna need you to do some more, pal. What I've noticed is that, like, I'm, I'm like, relying on Franz more than I am, like, you know, Vanessa. And it's like, you know, I like Vanessa enough, but we're just gonna get a better Pegasus Knight later. Yeah. Like, type of deal, which, like, is mean to say. She will do. Yeah, she will do for now. But, like, there are, there are like, two Pegasus Knights that you can get later, which also, like, contributes to the triangle attack. Yeah. Now that I think about it... Oh, jeez, actually. No, wait a second. <laughs> are, are we gonna have another... Are we gonna have another Farina situation? Not the, not the oh, way. Support. Yeah, I realize that. Not the way this is going because, um, you know, I, we're, we're not investing in Vanessa at all, which might be not the great. We we may need to get her some kills, but we'll see. Anyway, Seth. Seth. What brings you, Princess? How fair you, Seth? Ever since the castle fell, you've been protecting me, despite your own injuries. Would that I could, would that I could have served you better, my lady. You were not meant to see such things. But my wound is closed up, and it does not affect my lance arm. Wait, show it to me. Look, the wound has closed, but is not yet fully healed. What made you think of this, my lady? Your fighting is as superb as ever, Seth. But when you raise your lance, I see a flicker of pain on your face, as if you were merely enduring it. But it only lasts a moment. Perhaps it is all just my imagination. Your Highness, please put your mind at ease. My wound has healed, and there is no reason to worry. I would that were so, Seth. Please do not overexert yourself. I beg this of you. Without you, I may not be able to continue this quest. You praise me too much, my lady. Um, uh, no, she doesn't. We kind of need you, dude. At, at this stage, yeah, I fully think... Seth is pivotal to the operation. Not just because he's the best unit, but because he generally knows what to do. Yeah. Alright, I'm actually going to go ahead and take my own advice here. Um, let's uh, move Franz back for now. Um, Mulder. Do a little heal. Yeah, I'm not overly invested in leveling up Vanessa, but if you want to... Like, at, just, at, at just the very, since we're stuck with her for a little bit. At the very least, just to have, like, a flying lancer that, like, you know, can at least do some work. And, oh, geez, she can't even kill this guy. Um, Ross, can you do a little bit of damage to him? Maybe. Maybe. Ah. We are climbing the weapon triangle there. Yeah, kinda. Um, Colm. Let me see something. Let's do this. Ay madre! Yeah. I mean, Colm will survive a combat against him, so if you want to just park Colm there. Yeah, either that or we can finish him with Gilliam. But... Yeah, do we just want to park... Oh! Oh, steal that antitoxin. Why not, right? Yeah. Okay, sure, let's do that. Free antitoxin. Yeah, we'll get an antitoxin, and we'll go ahead... And he gets experience out of it. Yeah. So, yeah, okay, Colm. You can uh, go ahead and uh, uh, park yourself there, and we should be able to handle this just fine. There is a good amount of toxic enemies in this game. So. That's true. So I guess that in that therein is kind of like the, uh, the appeal with thieves in this game, because, like, a, a lot of enemies also just carry a lot of items. Yeah, I guess that's true. All right, Vanessa, let's try this again. There we go. Yeah, I I'm with you. I'm not totally invested in leveling Vanessa either, but at the same time, like... <laughs> not comfortable carrying around a level one unit. <laughs> it kind of! Speaking of, like... Yeah, th that applies to you guys. So I suppose it's not that bad right now, considering. Yeah. Okay, so he has a hand axe. And a steel axe. We can hit him with range right now, but then we have to move them out of the way before his turn. Um, one character I think can actually, like, handle his brute force while also dishing it back is Garcia. Like, if Garcia can plant himself there, like, trade hand axes for a bit, and then we can go for the kill. Okay. He's not gonna move, so, like, I feel we should be able to handle this just fine. Okay, Calm, you're a little bit injured, so... Mulder, do your thing. 
X-Files fans, there is no Scully in this game. I'm sorry. I mean, there's lots of skull-faced <laughs> characters, so you could call one of them Scully. They're not really characters. They're enemy units. You're going to have to forgive me. The reference here is lost on me. Those are the two characters from the X-Files, Mulder and Scully. Ah, got it. All right, let's see what Garcia can do. Well, we, we can't know, but let, let's test the Steel Axe. Um, hmm. So he hits hard, but he's not accurate. Yeah. So I think Garcia would survive if you drew a hand axe. I just don't know if he's going to hit. Um, do we want to do the, like, the, the, like, shift and rescue just so we know they're safe? I don't think it's entirely necessary, but if you want to, if it makes you feel better. Honestly, yes, because, like, we, we don't want to, like, rock the boat any more than we need to here. I'm the head of this bandit pack, ba the mighty Bazba. Hope you enjoyed your life, because it's about to end. I mean, he can't one-shot with a steel axe, so he's not going to be able to one-shot with a hand axe. Fair enough. I guess I'm more worried about speed, but... Yeah, alright. We'll trust Garcia. So yeah, we'll go ahead and, like, uh, have everyone move forward. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> this, this is fine. Alright. <laughs> well, the good news is that, like, he has a hand axe now, which means he's going to be slow and inaccurate. Yeah. So I think now's a good time to, like, go start going in here. So let's see what everyone can do. Um, let's start with Erica. So Rapier is going to be the highest damage dealing option. I'm willing to go for it, just to get him down. Okay. Well done. Nice. Alright, alright, alright. I'd like to see it. I'd like to see it. Um, Franz. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to try Colm? Yep. That's exactly what I was thinking. Ooh. Maybe... Ross or Nani? <laughs> okay, so not Ross. Definitely not Ross. <laughs> With a 19% of... Hmm. Uh, Nami can move into um, Garcia's Garcia space, right? If he's not there yet. So I'd say maybe just back Garcia out. Alright, sounds good. Yeah, let's see what Nami can do. If she doesn't get one shot, we should be fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine with doing this. Okay. And see if it, and see if she hits. And if we land it, we can try and kill with Colm. Yeah, and if push comes to shove, we have Gilliam or Seth to yeah. fall back on. Uh, ah. Nice dodge, though. Okay, so who's hurt? Just Franz? Did Franz get hurt? Yeah, Franz got hurt. Not terrible, but that's a Steel Axe that's coming his way, which could be a problem. Yeah. Yeah, not 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 something I, I I'm willing to risk. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, so I'm not too worried. I'm just trying to think of the best way to do this, which is maybe I have an idea. Okay. We rescue Naimi with um, Vanessa and get her out of there. Mulder can come in and heal Franz, and then Seth can get Mulder out. That sounds good. Let's do it. Yeah, she can wait on top of the barrel. That's pretty funny.
Yeah, because even a Steel Axe, as we saw earlier, is not going to do 22 points of damage. No. Perfect. Okay. You and then just plant Seth here for the support for Erica and kind of Franz, too. I think he can actually support with Franz. He can. Yeah. So... Yeah, that should be fine, right? Yep. Ooh! You hate to see it, but... Yeah, but you know what? There. there you go. I'm the mighty... Buzzba, this ain't... Ain't ain't a word. You, you know what else ain't a word? Bad, for that level up. <laughs> well done, Erica. That level up ain't bad. Alright. Um, Mulder's rescued, so, like, I don't really feel like yeah. know, delaying. We might as well just go for it, right? Let's go for it. Let's do it. C calm. What now? I told you not to worry. I could have robbed these bandits blind on my own. Thank you very much. I was worried. Hold on. I'm sorry. Come on, don't start bawling. <laughs> no more dangerous stuff by yourself. Fine, fine, I promise. But you have to stop crying all the time, all right? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Take a look at this. Hmm? I got your mirror back. Remember how you cried when we left Lark? You thought you'd lost this. I knew it was your mother's, and I knew those thugs had taken it. So I went and got it back. See what happens when you give me a job? Guaranteed results. Colm. Oh, Colm. Hey, why are you crying this time? Come on, stop. Knock it off. Name me, please. This is quite touching, but... I think you'd best return Princess Erica's bracelet to her now. What are you talking about? Are you trying to say that I... That, that, whoa, whoa there! Okay, hold it! It's right here! Take it! Tell me, boy. Is this a path you've chosen for your life? If this girl matters to you, you must quit this dark road. Uh, yeah, right. We're leaving. Don't expect to be rescued again. Farewell. Hey, wait! Let us go with you. You can't just leave us here. Pardon? Naomi and I. We've got no home to return to. No matter where we go, there's just going to be more fighting. You're mercenaries, right? Well, then take us with you. I'm a handy guy to have around. I know I can help you out. I would prefer not, but I'll agree with Erica's decision. Our duty is a grave one, however. We've no time to waste shepherding you. That's fine with us. Just you wait. I promise you won't regret your decision. I retrieved your bracelet from the bandit's stronghold. Here you are, princess. Thank you, Seth. You know, father gave me this bracelet when I was a child. It has only one match in the world, and my brother wears it. Lady Erica, you must take care never to lose that bracelet. It is proof that King Fado entrusted the future of Renee to you, his children. Seth? What is it you're not telling me? I apologize, Your Highness. When the time comes, I will tell you what I know. Until then, I... I see. If you tell me I must wait, then I can wait. I trust you. Then we should get moving again. We're safe from bandits for now, but I can't guarantee for how long. This... This is just the beginning, isn't it? If we hope to free our homeland, it will take battle after battle. I'm afraid so, Your Highness. The day you and Prince Ephraim win back your freedom and honor of Renee will come. But I fear it lies at the end of a long and treacherous road. I know. I must fight for that day. In the names of all those I could not save, I'll lead us home. Let's go. My brother awaits. Meanwhile, at Great Keep. General Dwessel. Selina, how have you, um, have you been back long? Tell me. How fares the campaign in Renee? Signs of chaos abound. Brigands fried without fear, and the peasants' cries fill the air. Hmm. If Grado's troops do not enforce public order, the situation will only worsen. And still, His Majesty has given us no orders. Perhaps just this once, I should take the lead. 
What could his majesty be thinking? Breaking our long-held alliance with Rene? Invading without warning? He's never been this way before. He abhors violence. And have you noticed the recent promotions? Who are they going to? Certainly not to the soldiers who have Great Ospeth's interests at heart. I fear this invasion is the prelude to a much larger war. I feel as though His Majesty is no longer the man we knew him to be. Glenn, it doesn't matter what any of us think of our orders. We are his servants, and we will not question His Majesty's intentions. I know that, Selina. And yet... That's enough, both of you. His Majesty summons us. Can I just say that I love this simple exchange because it immediately establishes that these guys don't like this. Yeah. I love the fact that they address that immediately. Let's hope we can learn a little bit during our audience. Uh, who wants to do, uh, uh Vigarde? I'll take Vigarde if you want to take, uh, Leon. Sounds good. I appreciate your work in fulfilling your previous orders. You are the hammers that drive the nails of the Empire's will. You will continue to operate without hesitation. Wherever I send you. By your command. In your majesty's name. Yes, sire. However, I know this. You, my Imperial Three, lack the strength to conquer the remaining nations alone. In the invasion of Rene, certain soldiers performed beyond my expectation. I have chosen them to join you as new generals in the Empire's service. Come. So these now, with the three we just talked to, are the six generals of Great O. Yep. The performance of these men surpass even my, even your own. With the addition of these three, the Empire will have six generals strong enough to conquer this land. Do you understand? <laughs> I am Reeve, given the name Blood Barrel by His Majesty. I know I am a newcomer, but I pray for your favor. Understood. I'm Kalich. How would you say that? I would say Kalich. Kalich? Yeah. I like Kalich, yeah. Yeah. I'm Kalich. I was a mercenary fighting in the desert. Seems I'm to be called Tiger Eye. You're a fine looking lass, aren't you? Yeah, I'm gonna love working with you. Hmm. So we meet again! You know me as General Volter, but you may call me the Moonstone. I'll save you worthless dogs from your own incompetence. You'll thank me later. Volter, you scum! Peace, Glenn. Selina, Kalik, you will bring me Frelia. Yes, sire. Sure, good is done. Reeve, Dussel, you are charged with the defense of the Empire. I'll speak to you individually with more details later. <laughs> Understood, your majesty. By your command, sire. And me? Volter, Glenn, I have other duties for you. Yes, Your Majesty. Rene has fallen, but Princess Erica still eludes us. Her brother, Prince Ephraim, leads a resistance within our borders. Bring the siblings to me. <laughs> of course. Hmm. Walter, you would have had one of the siblings already, but you decided to, like, monologue and let her run. Yeah, Walter is clearly the type of guy who enjoys the thrill of the hunt. He's a sadist. Absolutely. No questions asked. Yeah, so, kind of kind of reminds me a little of Skies of Arcadia, that you have this, like, set of generals. Yeah, some of them good, some of them not so good. Yeah, some of them sympathetic, but still doing the bad thing. Yeah, um, definitely a lot of, um, Camus archetypes going on here. Yeah, there's plenty of Camus to go around. Yeah, seriously. And a lot of it, like, I think, um, not so much Dussel, because Dussel, as people know who have played this game, does eventually, uh, you know, join your ranks. Um. There, there will be a variety of fates for these six. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But, uh... There, there's going to be there's going to be some interesting happenings with all three of them. I if I had to pick my favorites besides Dussel, I think Selena's amazing. Like her character is seriously cool to me. Yeah. Um, and I kind of maniacally enjoy Walter's antics. I mean, Walter and to a lesser extent Reeve are great 
piece of crap villains. Yeah, they, like, they're the villains who are basically just like, I am apologetically evil and I am so having fun with it. Yeah, and and, and so is Kalik, but he's just less interesting to me. Yeah, Kalik has its own, has his own, like, interesting story, yeah. but it doesn't quite hit the same notes as Reaver Volter. If, but... if you caught me on the streets and, like, asked me to name these six characters, Kalik's the one I would most likely forget. But he's yeah. he's a character. He is, he, like, he is interesting at He'll the very least. He'll do his job. All right, then. So we'll get more on those guys later. So thank you guys for joining us for Chapter 3 of Let's Play Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. In the next episode, we continue south uh, towards uh, Grado to find Prince Ephraim, hopefully. I think I know what the next chapter is, and um, I am both excited and a little nervous. I think it's the one I'm thinking of, right? Um, uh, is there music involved? Uh, because I think I hear a lute. I, yeah, uh, there it is. Yep, okay, it's the one I'm thinking of. We're All good. Right.